Very good morning, everybody. What a fantastic day it is. Very clear, crystal, but very cold indeed. Today, folks, I'm actually not very sure what's going to be happening. Now, I am going out today to Spiz, obviously, but this time, instead of having Bro with me, I've got this professional and video kind of chap called Rich, who's going to be videoing me and making it more professional. Crikey! Right, here we go. The secret quarry is just over there, Richard. But we'll not go there just yet. Oh, there it is, in fact, right to your... The your secret left. quarry that we could see. Yes. That's the... Well, we, can, we can drive by. We go up this road up here, but that's, that's not where we're going to go just now. It's evidence of windmills, because they used to use windmills to pump out excess water when the, when the holes got really, really deep at the quarries, that the water from the ground would come out and it was really difficult to get rid of them. Uh, so they built these old windmills uh, to act as sort of pumps. So hopefully we'll find some evidence of that. And also I want to, I really want to find the culvert, the tunnel that they dug for drainage. It's 180 feet long, but I don't know if we're going to find it because I've, I've had a look for it on the map. Can't see any signs off it, but hey ho, you never know, we might come across it today. Let's hope so. What a glorious day, fantastic. Yeah, so we're here at Carmiley Quarries, um, doing a little bit of filming, but there's some people over there, I don't know what they're doing, there's some sort of caravans and trucks and mechanical noises going on, so I'm not actually sure what's going on. So I think we're just gonna go into this quarry here. Uh, we're looking today for sort of like signs of windmills and tunnels and all sorts of exciting little things like that. Yeah, so these uh, quarries at Carmiley, they, they were opened, well not opened, they started production around about 1890. They closed roughly about 1951, but as you can still see, there are remnants of bits of slate and marble still here, cut into the, the slabs. Big machines would have cut these into size. And some of these slabs would have been sent down to London and the most famous building that is constructed out of some of these slabs, or floored at least, is Cologne Cathedral. Thank you. These are the actual, as you can still see, these have yet to be uh, chiseled down into their fine, the fine form. Some of the slate here would have been used for billiard tables, um, and some of this was actually used to, uh, for the abutments on the fourth row bridge. Carmiley was a fantastic hub of activity here back in the 1890s, 19th century. And the work that was done here was phenomenal. Stuff would get sent out all over Europe, uh, London in particular, and of course, Arbroath and Aberdeen. They are basically built on Carmiley slate. Well, folks, I'm not too sure here. I'm not convinced this is walkable on, but I'm only 11 stone, so I think I might be able to get away with it. It's very, very slidey, that's the only thing. I don't hear the familiar cracks. Richard, if I go in here, man, you're gonna have to save me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm too, too much of a scaredy cat. Right, folks, we're out. We're out on the ice here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to try and get out to the barrel, right? Oh, no, this is too much. Right, folks, you find me here, out on the middle of the, uh, the reservoir, or whatever this thing's called here. I'm going to try and touch the barrel. I think I'm actually going to make it with... Oh, hang on. I've touched it, I've made it, there we go, look. And I'm right in the middle of this little quarry. The ice, is, the ice must be about three or four inches thick here. Crikey. Will it take both our weight? Wow. We could probably get right out of there, but I'm not going to risk it, man, no way. But look, we are right, I didn't expect this to be so. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Well, it really is a beautiful, fantastically, it's actually warm today, folks. I've got thermals on and we're actually starting to, to get really warm. It's fantastic. This Carmiley quarry, though, it's really, really changed over the last time I was here. I think it was about a year ago I was here, but uh, I wonder what this is here. Hang on. 
Right, folks, I've discovered what it is. I think I've used my intelligence and my natural ability at solving things. I think these are recycled tires. I think. Looks like bits of rubber and, yep, possible recycled tires. Well, folks, this is uh, obviously one of the modern pumping systems. The older pumping systems they used would have been the windmills. Now, the windmills they built back then were quite baroque things, but they worked really well, very, very efficient. They went around three times faster than the actual normal mill windmill. And they had to pump out these massive amounts of water as the, the deeper they went, the water would rise really, really quickly. And that was a real, real problem for them. And in fact, there is a tunnel hidden around here somewhere, a culvert that they dug. It's 40 feet deep, 180 feet long, and you can actually get in. It's about three feet by three and a half feet. So if we do find it, we're going in. <laughs> right. Okay, folks, I'm just waiting to do another shot now where I walk down this path. And uh, yep, see where Richard's filming. This is, uh, I've been getting directed. I have, I've been told to walk and stop and come back again. So yeah. Action! Really fantastic. Oh, we're action, hang on. Folks, look at this. Right, Richard's having difficulty hacking his way through it. Now we found this little bit here, folks, which is quite exciting. I don't think it's quite the tunnel, but it looks like there's been something here. There's a hole and a sort of like another indentation in the wall there. So, but I, I'm assuming there probably been quite a lot of little uh, sort of culverts built to help the drainage of the water. But this one here, this looks like something was definitely here. Um, yeah, super. Well, we've become a bit intrigued by these uh, stones behind us here. Look at them, it's like a wall that's almost been built. So we're still not sure whether that's just been um, laid there as an entranceway to something or, oh, we just don't know. It's all caved in here, folks. It's all fallen down. We just, we just don't know, it's just a mess, basically. But you can see there have been signs of people actually doing stuff here. But as I say, it's just a, a complete, Shambles! Well, folks, what we found here is possibly the new big deluxe version of Jenga. There it is there. Look at that. I'm going to go and pull out the low block and going to put it on the top and see how far we can get with this new game of Jenga. Awesome. Look at that. Strange places in Scotland. They get everywhere. There we go. Well, that was a fantastic meetup. There, we've got lots of information, juicy information from Steve and Kate. Fantastic couple. Really love meeting them. This is what Spizzing's all about: getting out there, meeting people, and they they genuinely tell you how much they love the things we do, and it makes you feel great. I love that man. Fantastic. See you later. Found this awesome. old book. It's a bit sluggy and a bit yuck. Right here we go. A quick passage from it. Tell me, she felt her heart squeeze. She even imagined a little cold wind had sprung up. I had to deliver a parcel to the main shop. They're at the foot of Renfield Street. Crikey, how exciting. I can't even see what the title is, but there you go. We found an old car here, folks. Is it a Volkswagen? Is it a Morris Minor? What is it? Wow. I don't think it's going anywhere, mind you, but... Yeah, look at that. Well, it's got an M on the wheel, so... Yeah, it would be a Morris. It's a Morris. It's one of these Morris estates, you know, with a... The Morris estates. Yeah, the Morris Minor. Right, we've actually found something in the woods here, folks. Look at this. It's like an old plinth or something. Right, here we go, folks. Look, we found some sort of foundations here. And then further in, there's some, like, stone structures. Right, folks, I'm actually on top of one of these stone structures. Now, I'm not sure what these would have been used for, but... A crane would have obviously had to be involved getting these up here, leaving them bang, putting them on. Maybe these were stones that were just meant to be, I don't know, maybe they were second rate stones that weren't going to be used anymore. Um, I just don't really know, folks. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm clueless when it comes to this bit. I really don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's, uh...
Little structure here, look at this. Well, right, we're just exploring this old, uh, I wouldn't say it's a mill, because I don't think it's that. It's obviously got some sort of, something to do with the quarries. But uh, what a fantastic area to explore. Richard's loving it. Uh, he's never been to a place like this before. I've been here once, but I can't remember all these uh, bits and pieces lying around. Absolutely wonderful. I'm having a great time. This is a good shoot. I'm enjoying this. It's good fun. More difficult for the longer oh, person. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Jack. Hang on. I'll manage. Look. Oh, there we go. I've done it. Thank you. Goodness me. Wow. What on earth is this we've stumbled onto? What the hell could this be? Workshop. That's what it is. Well, oh, no, maybe not. I think. Obviously, they've been down the bottom. They're doing something. Folks, and this is inside them. You reckon this is an animal pain or something? You're finding it a second to get beyond you. Yeah, you go for it, man. Just you, Richard's all excited. He's found some old machinery. But be careful. Look at all this machinery in here, look. I've actually found a body, folks. Look. <laughs> Feet. Legs. An arm. Oh my god, where's his head? Well, there is no head, it's just a neck. Oh, folks, we found a body. Oh my goodness me. According to my calculations, and I've checked the map, we should be heading up that way. We head along and we go through this little stone kind of stone way, that's all I can call it. So, all we can do is just head up that way and see what's up here. Let's do it. Now we're wondering why these orange marks are on the trees. Now Richard reckons it's got something to do with the snow levels, but I don't think it's got that. I think it's more to do with they're going to be cutting these trees down. And that's the level they chainsaw it at, that's what I think. Well folks, we've come across these rather strange white discs. We found three of them so far. They revolve around and they're kind of stuck to trees, but we just don't know what they could be used for. Anybody got any clue? Weird. This is very peculiar. Whatever this is. I don't know. It's like they're building something. Definitely. It's like pens or... to keep animals in. We just don't know. I wonder if it'll become apparent. Right, folks, well, we are really at a loss as to what this is. It could be for animals, it could be for shooting, it could be for a pheasant run or something. But it's these white and wooden discs. I mean, it's like they're making them. Look, here we go. Here's some more of them. Oh, they're stuck to the ground. What's going on? Oh, there it is. Look, there's more of them, Richard. Look. Now look at this for example folks, this has definitely been made for a human. It's got little windows, nice protection and inside there you can see the waterproofing getting done in. And that's sandbagging there, what's the sandbagging for? Is that to prevent from flooding? Well that's definitely been built for a person I would say. Right folks, we think we found the answer to the uh, the solution, look, it's shooting, there's holes. It's definitely got some uh, bullet holes in there, look. So obviously if you hit them, you get 
you get 30. 98.4. Ding, 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 ding. That's what that is. Oh. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, there we go, folks. That is the adventure over, I'm afraid. We found exactly what we set out to find. We got the quarry. We found the old mill with the loading bays and the old secret... Well, we didn't know what they were, those old towers. That was a mystery. We came in here to the secret quarry. Again, another bit of a mystery. We didn't know what was going on here. And look at this. This is where we end today's adventure. Here in a fantastic location that nobody really knows about. Awesome, thank you.